Hey guys, what's up? It's Miss Long again here with your homework help. And today I am going to go ahead and help you with a word problem that's similar to some of the ones you're going to be seeing on the assessments and also one that applies with our standard how do fractions represent the same amount? So we've been talking about that again about how fractions represent the same or equivalent amounts and we can find that several ways by um, cross multiplication by using our visual fraction models so today we're going to go ahead and look at a word problem and we're going to solve that using a visual fraction model so let's go ahead and read our word problem Minnie Mouse and Mickey Mouse were eating candy bars the candy bars they ate were the same size Minnie cut hers into eight equal pieces and Mickey cut his into four equal pieces Minnie ate two of her pieces and Mickey ate three of his pieces who ate more of their candy bar? All right, so that's a lot of information. So let's go ahead and first, let's actually circle the important information, okay, or underline the important information. So I see that their candy bars were the same size. So that tells me it wants me to compare these two the same size. Minnie cut hers into eight pieces, and Mickey cut his into four. Looks like Minnie ate two of her pieces, and Mickey ate three of his pieces. So I see that Minnie's fraction, M I N E, <laughs> this is so hard to write like this, guys. I'm going to get smart in a second and use the, the typing tool. But it looks like Minnie ate two out of her eight pieces. So Minnie's fraction will be two eighths. And Mickey, told you I'll get smart, guys. <laughs> Mickey ate three of his pieces and let's see he had four in total so his fraction is three-fourths okay so now we need to see who ate more of their candy bar that's actually the question that our uh, word problem wants us to answer right who ate more of the candy bar that's what we're looking for so we have their two fractions right here so let's go ahead and draw a visual fraction model to represent that. So I'm going to use just a rectangle. So here's Minnie's rectangle. And I'm going to have that same rectangle represent Mickey. So Minnie's will be the top one. And Mickey's will be the bottom. Okay. So we need to go ahead and split Minnie's candy bar into eight equal pieces. So I'm going to split it in half, and then split it in half, split it in half, and that gives me four equal pieces, and then I just split the four into half in each section to get eight equal pieces. Okay. Good. All right. Now we're going to go ahead and do Mickey's candy bar into four equal pieces. Okay. So split down the middle, split that in half, and split that in half, and that's Mickey's pieces. All right, so if we want to go ahead and shade in our fractions, we can shade in Minnie ate one, two pieces, and Mickey ate three out of his pieces, one, two, three. Okay, so who does it look like ate more of their candy bar? Mickey ate three pieces out of his four, and Minnie ate two pieces out of her eight. So she ate way less than Mickey. Okay, so if we drew a line to compare, went straight down, do we see that Mickey ate this much more than Minnie? So that would be your answer. Who ate more? My complete sentence would be Mickey ate more of his candy bar. The visual fraction model proves that three fourths is greater than two eighths. That'll be your complete sentence. You guys also know that you can cross multiply to find this answer. So this is one way to find it. 
If you wanted to cross multiply and use your other strategy, you can do that. So to compare two eighths with three fourths, we know to compare two fractions, we need to have common denominators. So I'm going to go ahead and cross multiply here. Okay, ooh, sorry, it's so sloppy, guys. Four times two will give me eight. 8 times 3 will give me 24. And our common denominator, 8 times 4, will give me 32. Okay, so the equivalent fraction for 3 fourths would be 24 over 32. We took that number up here at the top for our numerator, and the denominator down here will be common. So this one will also have a denominator of 32 but the fraction over here is only an 8. An 8 32 30 seconds is equivalent to 2 eighths. So we can compare these two fractions, guys, because 24 30 seconds and 8 30 seconds, we need to compare them. So 24 is greater. So again, 3 fourths is the greater fraction. Okay, and that's, again, what we represented with our answer. Um, we answered it right here. Mi Oop, sorry guys. Mickey ate more of his candy bar. The visual fraction model proves three-fourths is greater than two-eighths. And also, if you showed this, you could also say, and by cross-multiplying, um, three-fourths is greater than two-eighths. All right, so I hope this helped you guys out. If you have any more questions, let me know. Bye, guys.